everyone, welcome to Turkish Japanese family. In the last video, we went through the items we bought from Japan, cosmetics, baby items, and uh, the practical things from uh, 100 yen shop. And in this video, we will continue with some gift items that we shopped and also food stuff that we bought. I hope you will enjoy. So the next category, gifting and cute stuff to buy from Japan. Um, Japanese towel, always a nice gift. Uh, stainless little bottles, I have to show you this. So this is something new. I, I mean, I haven't been in Japan for the last three years because of pandemic, but this uh, bottle I start to see all around now. It's tiny, small thermos bottle that you can take it with you. So it was a gift from my friend to me that I cannot wait to use it. Um, I bought myself this Hello Kitty pen <laughs> from Shirakawa Go. So it's a souvenir for me. So here is a little package of eight sheets and four envelopes to write little uh, letters to your loved ones. I always buy one from Japan because I love the designs there. So what you will see now is loads of bath salt. Uh, again, I love these as design and also they are very nice smells and relaxing mixes of um, bathing salts. This also makes bubble bath. So you will see many more <laughs> in these little packages, I think. I bought too many because I like to gift them. Let's see what's here. Um, these are hair colors. <laughs> it takes five minutes to put them on and uh, I think removing is also very easy. So I thought I can play with them or give as a gift. Uh, body meal, another bath salt with juicy fruits bubble bay bath look at how cute all of them look at this and Kai loves it when we bathe together we open one together and then he likes the color he likes the smell just very very cute stuff then uh, uh, roll sticker messages, like cute messages when you give gifts. I like to stick them. Uh, these are little deodorants where you put on your wrist or on your neck. It smells good and relaxes you. Hair bands, hair gums. I like the quality from Japan. Then this was from 100 yen shop. Uh, playful uh, pens for kids band-aid uh, I mean you can find them anywhere in the world I guess I just saw them and I got one for kids and then oh we went to Tokyo hands where I always get pens from there this I've never tried I have many different kinds of pens already from Japan uh, these are Uni uh, Emot. I love the color schemes, so I want to try. It's from Mitsubishi Pencil. Um, easy to write, water-based ink. Then many other pens uh, <laughs> with different colors and different writing quality, which I like to try. What else? Uh-huh. So one thing you ha cannot miss. Okay, more bath, uh, bathing salts. One thing you cannot miss in Japan is face masks. It's number one gift from Japan to anyone, I would say. Apart from food, which will come to that. Um, so I try to find interesting ones like this one is a face mask which helps you to look like you slept eight hours in eight minutes once you put that on your face i assume it takes the tiredness away 
we'll see about that. And then this is a um, <laughs> botanical sheet mask, which has CBD in it. So cannabis, it has cannabis in it. I will get Tomo to read the details, but I assume it will make my face look um, energized afterwards. What else more here? Another thing is that in Japan, they like to pack things and close them with a, with a tape. Even if it's a plastic bag, they do it. Packaging is very important in Japan. Let's see what we have here. I assume you pay you strip it on your under your feet and it helps you to relax overnight. I think this is exactly what I need during pregnancy. And a little traveler's notebook. It's um, like a di diary for your travels. Then some cards that's it these are this is my gifting box <laughs> so we are at the last category the food i want to show you quickly what type of food we buy from japan when we go to japan and it makes sense to get it from japan first of all these little things looks like little miso soup packages and you can totally buy miso soup but we are following some um companies that are progressive actually <laughs> uh, it's Tomo's sister who is following them up and let us know what is new and uh, we go and check them out and this is one of them they make powder soups and food uh, that are actually nutritious uh, because they follow a technique that they are dried or frozen dried frozen I don't know they, they use a technology that makes the food um, keeps all its taste and nutritious. So we buy these little packages to keep some of Japanese taste with us and they can go for a very long time. Like this is for next year, 2023, July, one year. And you can eat nice, nice food like this. I mean, you really get the the bits in it like if it's corn there's corn in it like this is pumpkin soup i love to try um curry i suppose from japan yeah then what else we have here what else we brought we brought nori but this is for onigiri nori for onigiri so it's seaweed to wrap onigiri rice and this is salted already it has a bit of more taste than usual nori. And um, so we buy tea. If you see a store that is specialized on different things, like we got this from Kanazawa, and it's going to be a gift. It's a it's a matcha tea or hojichai hojichai tea, I suppose. So we have a lot of tea, I just quickly show some of them from supermarkets, some of them from specialized shops. Three packages, this is also hojichai. Hojichai, I think this is the one that tastes like um, popcorn. And some snacks for us to try. I really wanted to show some interesting snacks for you guys in the end. But we have this usual suspects. Uh, Kai says, I want to eat the chicken cracker. And I'm like, what chicken cracker? And he means his animal crackers, which are sweet, not salty. And this is um, a desserty snack with uh, strawberry in it. And then we have some curries. Curry, you might know from the Indian dishes, but curry is very famous in Japan. Um, they make kare katsu, curry, they say kare, and uh, Japanese curry basically with their own flavor and it tastes really, really good. It's a bit sweet side, uh, but I love to eat Japanese curry. So we got, got these um, also from Tomo's sister. 
we have usual nori seaweed then here we have a ramen we love ramen and we look for a special one usually when we go to bring with us yeah these are not like cup noodles right these are special ones that also healthy we have some udon here just from a usual supermarket tea um, this time we bought dried uh, mushrooms shiitake i think yeah these are uh, once you put them in the water they they become like usual mushrooms the taste is exactly the same <laughs> Some snacks for me, milk, roll cakes. So I am obsessed with roll cake in Japan. It's one of the most famous desserts to eat and they are doing it so well and I wanted to try this uh, small snack. And the package has mini packages in it. It's a lot of packaging, but it tastes good. Oh, and the last soup. <laughs> And this is a soup with okra. Okra is something they used as a delicacy almost in some dishes, like tempura or in soups. And it always tastes great. All right, I think we have been through the whole shopping items that we had. Yeah, let us know what you like, what you found interest interesting for you. I'll put all the Hakuyen shops names in the, in the description that we visited and also non-Hakuyen shops that where we buy things from usually. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!